Welcome to SVR IAS Academy. Come on India.com is our website where you can get the prelims, mains and current affairs online video lectures and prelims 2018 test series as well. In this current affairs online video lecture, we will learn about threadworm infection may lead to active tuberculosis. Threadworm infection may lead to active tuberculosis. Threadworm is also called as intestinal worm. Intestinal worm, the scientific name is called as Strong Eloids Stercoralis. Strong Eloids Stercoralis is commonly called as threadworm. Threadworm is commonly found in the tropical and subtropical countries. Tropical and subtropical countries. It affects 50 to 100 million people worldwide. So, is a so dangerous threadworm affects nearly 50 million to 100 million people worldwide. According to a recent finding, threadworm infection may lead to the active tuberculosis. Because most of us may receive the tuberculosis bacteria via air. As already you know, tuberculosis spreads from one person to another person via air droplets. But even we receive the uh, tuberculosis bacteria via air, we won't develop as an active tuberculosis. Bacteria may be expelled out via exhalation or bacteria may remain in our body but remain inactive for many years. So the latent tuberculosis may become active tuberculosis when the antibodies against the tuberculosis is reduced. The third one, what it does is, it reduces the amount of the anti-tubercular antibodies. So it reduces the amount of antibodies against tuberculosis in our body so that the latent tuberculosis becomes active tuberculosis. That's why we need to go for the deworming treatment. Commonly two tablets are used for the deworming. One is Ivermectin. Ivermectin and second is albendazole. Albendazole and Ivermectin are the commonly used deworming tablets. As already you know, our government has launched National Deworming Day and National Deworming Program. Our National Deworming Program is world's largest deworming program and it covers nearly 340 million children under the age of 19 years. Nearly 64% of our Indian population which is less than 14 years of age are at a high risk of the soil transmitter, helminths and other worm infestations. So the children who are aged less than 14 years out of that 64% of the children who are at risk of the worm infestation. So India carries the highest burden of worm infestation. If worm infection occurs means it interferes with the absorption of the nutrients. So nutrients will not be reached children properly and they will become anemic, malnourished and their children's mental and physical development will get affected. So deworming is important practice in Indian context. So let's prepare well on the National Deworming Day and National Deworming Program and also prepare well on the link between the threadworm and active tuberculosis. Another fact you should know is the National Deworming Day is observed every year on February 10th by Government of India, especially by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. That's all about important points in this topic and all the best.